course, it's 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 sad. It's it's heart wrenching, but it was also uh, there was also a beauty with it as well. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds odd, but there, there was just to uh, you know to 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 see him have his final moments surrounded by family and friends in such a peaceful, loving environment was uh, was a great thing. Okay, now let's let's go into his legacy. He, you're an actor as well. Mm -hmm. He's an actor, and he was a great mentor to you. And I remember us talking about that uh, a little while ago. Talk about his legacy, what he's left for you, um, and and what what you kind of have learned from him over the years. Well, I've said it many times, and and you know, and people maybe take it literally, but it's not what I mean. He he taught me how to fly as an actor. It, it sounds it sounds silly, but. He he taught me. He gave me, showed me, the, you know, that the freedom as an actor that that it's okay to take a risk, you know, and within that risk, you know, it's okay to fail, and and that's kind of what I learned the most about James, and and just, you know, he has this ability, whether it was uh, on the stage, whether it was in film, television, whether it was in person, he was always in the moment, you know, he was he was. He was there and he was available to you. You know, when, when you talked to James, you knew that he was listening to you. You yeah. knew that he cared about what you said. But not only in his daily life, but he was like that as an actor. And and you know, when you're in the moment and you're available to the person that you're doing a scene with, uh, that's what it's all about. It's just you know, be present, be grounded, you know, be available. And and that's where you know, that's where the moments come from with an acting. So we definitely. You know, help me with that, and and not only that. You know, it's it's an industry that's that's up and down. You're either you know things are going great, or you're like, oh boy, I'm unemployed again. And, and he just had the ability, you know, when I would you know complain and go on about how frustrating the industry is, he would always look at me and say, Grant, but you're working. You know, you're 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 working. You know, there's so many people that would you know love to be in that position. So he was basically told me, you know, stop feeling sorry for yourself and you know get out there and do what you do. You know, and that was kind of like. Yeah, just, sorry about just that was kind of his thing, you know, just do what you do, be in the moment, and 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 celebrate it, you know, that's, he was big on that, he, he, he loved life, he, you know, and he was, uh, you know, for me too, it's, it's not even really about the acting with James, it was just the things he did for this community as well, yeah. volunteering at, at the, at this table, a soup kitchen, so many different things that he, that he lent his time and his talent to, and many different organizations, you know, within our community, and he was a great dad, you know. That, that was the that was the thing that I, I think that where I gained the most respect for James is that he kind of he kind of walked away from the industry. He kind of walked away from you know I mean he, he was a great actor. I mean he had seven uh, seven seasons on on a television show, many films, many plays and stuff. But he realized at that point in his life that his main priority or his main you know role, if you want to say, was to be a dad, was to be there for his daughter. And I don't know. To me, that's you know, that's the important. That's that's the James Carroll that that I remember. That's the James Carroll that I will always hold with me. Not the actor, you know, yeah. not the guy on television, but just the just James, the person, you know, James the the father, James the friend, James, you know, like I said, he was so supportive of this, of this community, and you see it all over Facebook with people saying, "Oh, I remember the first time I met him." You know, we just had this you know, great conversation, or, you know, I, I was nervous coming to do an interview, and, and, you know, and he made me feel so comfortable, and just made me feel, you know, a part of it and stuff, and, and that's, you know, that's what needs to be celebrated, and, you know, uh, it was, it was interesting just the last few times, uh, you know, talking with James when he was still, you know, uh, when he was still available to speak and stuff like that, he still had a sense of humor, mm -hmm. it wasn't about him, there was no, oh, poor me, look at me, you know, it was still, Asking me how my kids were, asking me how my wife was, asking me how you know the acting is going, all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and continually to to give me advice, telling me that you know, because like you know, it's an industry where you feel like walking away a lot of the times, and that was one of the last things he said to me, you know, don't you walk away, Grant, like don't don't you stop doing what you do, you know, so that that was uh, that's how I'll always remember, you know, James and. And and you see it, like I said, on on Facebook, on yeah. social media, the the, the support, uh, the love that he that he's receiving from the community, because, you know, it's one of those things you you get back what you give, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's what he was all about.